Dude, this is awesome. Vic Berger is the perfect person to do this. That's it. We're, uh, I also should probably uh, blast off and say that I'm finally watching the Vic Berger Vice video. This video is one big Curb Your Enthusiasm soundbite sequence. And uh, yeah, Trump made you bro. Exactly. And, you know, things have never been as bad as they are now. Now that I don't have Trump in my life. Just kidding. This community has grown in orders of magnitude in comparison to what has happened to all of the Trump grifter channels. Let's see. Happy birthday, Dave. Keep doing what you're doing. Love your show. Will you go on Joe Rogan's podcast? Let's go. Um, will I go on Rogan's podcast? I, I asked him and our PR people asked him uh, about a bajillion times to go on for my book. We did not get a response as far as I know. So I don't know what happened there. It's a little weird for me to say that publicly. I don't know what happened. Um, and uh, will I, uh, the, oh yeah, Caitlyn Jenner, who right now is running for governor of California. I'll be totally transparent, John. I did donate $50 and I got the Caitlyn for California mug. I should have had it with me on set right now. And by the way, Caitlyn's people, we've reached out to you through every proper channel. I've tweeted a couple times. Uh, please do respond to our people. I guess we'll give it another day or two for someone to just respond. Um, you don't have to do the show, obviously, Caitlin. By the way, I reached out to Andrew Yang first thing this morning about four hours ago privately. Didn't hear back. Now, he could be very busy. He's running for mayor of New York City right now. We also reached out to his press team and we didn't hear back. We didn't hear back. Please do respond. I am seriously in a mood today. Like, what was I doing five minutes ago? I was literally Googling punching bags. So that's what we're gonna be covering today. I, I am ready to roll. Like, I'm ready for the revolution. I really am. Like, if this is what these motherfuckers are gonna do, like, I'm, I'm here for it. Like, I am not going to be your bitch. Uh, but before we get to all that, let's talk about Glint Pay, guys. I've been telling you guys about Glint Pay, and if you don't know, the world is in a very precarious spot. One of the things that's lasted for a long time that people have cared about for a long time, well, that's gold. And using your Glint Pay card, you can not only buy and sell gold, but you can use this light. I said this is it. That I think that's it. This is the greatest work of all time. This is a permanent conservative L compilation of a bunch of sad freaks who CD. basically bet the horse and the house, sorry, bet the house on a horse that literally does not care about them. And now they've built this bed and they have to live in it. Uh, thank you. Anna Drain for the five gifted subs. They bet the house on the horse. I think the Caitlyn Jenner thing is just complete BS. They still have not responded to us. Why don't we follow up again, actually? Uh, and it's like, you don't have to do the show, but if you can't even respond, then you're just not serious. One way uh, speaking of winners, the greatest achievement this week actually happened at a Trump rally in Pensacola, Florida. That's where a brilliant musical group called the Freedom Kids performed this live number. The manager of USA Freedom Kids is suing the Donald Trump campaign. Over Some of you guys are shocked. I've made fun of these uh, little clowns before, dude. Uh, more so the fucking adult that put him up to it, but I've, I've made fun of them before. But what he claims are two broken promises for their group to perform at campaign events. He says the Trump campaign backed out of a promise to provide them with a table for them to sell their CDs. He let it go, but the last straw was a few weeks later. The group was invited to sing at a campaign event for Donald Trump, and the rug was allegedly pulled out from underneath them at the last minute. No. No, that's so sad. I was at the White House yesterday to see- Oh, one of my favorites. One of my favorites, Terrence K. Williams, dude. The master of copium himself. I mean, he was like, he was still on copiate, uh, copiates, uh, the, the highest form of copium inhalant until like recently. So I don't even know what his turn was, but my God. See Donald Trump. Hey, by the way, Maybe. remember guys, uh, QAnon fighting against pedophilia also loves this shit, okay? Same energy as like childhood beauty pageants. It's so Love fucking you, weird, dude. The only time this is like remotely acceptable is if it's like just for a fucking school 
a, a ballet recital or some shit and it's just parents watching, okay? This is not for like random adults to consume. Do you understand? Maybe I'm fucking weird, but I, I just always, I've always found it so strange. I was at the White House yesterday to see Donald Trump in person. At the White House! Say a few words, please. I was at the White House! <laughs> Oh, so y'all, oh, y'all really thought y'all were going to convict and disqualify President Trump. Where in the hell is the GOP? Where are they yet? Why are they not helping President Trump? Hey, man, look. <laughs> Someone said Kevin Hart at home. That's fucked up. I, I don't even like Kevin Hart, but that's so disrespectful to Kevin Hart to be mentioned. They're not even on the sh same stratosphere, dude. You were very prominent in Trump world. And now that, for now, he's no longer president. Um, and I for know now. how you feel about him in your heart. You know, you had some options there. Things were happening in your career. What are your plans for the next couple of months? Oh, my plans for the next couple of months is the same as I've been doing. Joe Biden's presidential address was the worst of all time. I mean, that was so horrible. And before I jump into that, this video is sponsored by one of the greatest companies, Noble Gold. Noble Gold can help you more than Joe Biden. Dude, they're all shilling gold now. Like all of them. And it's incredible. Noble Gold can help you protect your money and everything you worked hard for. They can help you bag that with real physical silver and gold. Give them a call. I'm not gonna lie, it's been, it's, it's been very tough. I've been banned from so many barbecues. Lord, and I miss them, I'm not gonna lie, I miss the barbecues. Brandon Strzok, thanks so much for joining us tonight. You. Um, you are a very interesting man. So you were a Democrat, now you have a new movement called Hashtag Walk Away yes. that you're wearing, good marketing. <laughs> okay, and is it some, it's a website? Yes, yeah, so I get on it and I look at other people who have walked away. And what are you walking away from? Well, I'm walking away from the Democrat Party and I'm also walking away from the divisive, hateful, and now I think we're on the brink of almost violent rhetoric that's coming from the left. Excuse me, sir. This is why you always have to consult a doctor before you ingest this amount of copiates. You can't. If you do it on your own, this is what happens, dude. Dollar store Chris D'Elia. I mean, dude, Chris D'Elia himself is a dollar store version of Chris D'Elia. Hey everybody, you know, I was kind of doing some reflecting today a little bit, whether or not Trump has a second term, today was the end of his first term. The Trump president- Oh no, dude, no, you coward. Presidency is the very thing that opened my eyes and changed my life. I think the funniest part about this is also Enrique Terrio, who was literally an FBI asset all along, while simultaneously fucking uh, leading the Proud Boys. Like, you guys deserve to get fucked all the way, dude. I'm sorry. I'm telling you, the future is bright and it's exciting. We are only just getting started. The best is yet to come. 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 All my love. That is 44-year-old Branda Straka recording a video in the crowd that day. Agents arrested him in Omaha following a tip, and now he's in federal custody on these charges. 
impeding law enforcement during civil disorder, knowingly entering. And I'm sorry, but like people that say, like, I'm such a fucking centrist when it comes to the January 6th stuff. Get mad at me all you want. It's I'm not going to win any allies from either side with this take. But like, there's people on the left who are like, dude, it wasn't a big deal at all. Shut the fuck up. Like, who cares? Blah, blah, blah. Like, you know, these people should not uh, receive any punishments whatsoever for their actions. And those people are fucking ridiculous. Okay. One, because it makes me feel really happy to see guys like this get uh, criminally charged for the actions that they engaged in that are illegal. And two, I'm also not on the other side of the equation where like Democrats will turn around and fucking be like, oh my God, this was 9-11 times two electric boogaloo. Like, this is the worst thing that's ever happened in America. This is like worse than the Civil War. It's like, no, okay. Are you sure leftists said that? Yeah, leftists get fucking, leftists, there are definitely leftists who are, who, who have said that, you know, the January 6th insurrection and uh, the government's like, uh, the government's treatment of these people and like trying to fucking jail them and people snitching to the FBI about them and whatever is like actually bad. The left says no punishment. The fuck? Strawman as fuck? Dude, there are certainly motherfuckers that claim that they're a part of the left One like the, stun locks. the Matt nice. Taibbi, Jimmy Dore, Glenn Greenwalds of the left that aren't even fucking leftists but uh, that, that absolutely are, are even like adjacent to uh, those dudes. There are definitely left, fucking right. people that have takes like that. You are literally center on most topics. No, I'm not. There are so many people who think that they are leftists who unironically take that position. Remaining on restricted ground. Hello and to all of you, my family out there who haven't seen me. If you guys are unaware of these people, then that's a good thing because honestly, it just means that you are not, your timeline is not polluted by like some of these fucking weird psychos. Okay, that's good. In a while, I, met with my attorney today and we had a conversation. You know, if you're able to to uh, continue to support or to begin support in my emails, I provide a number of different options for people who want to be a monthly recurring supporter, for people who want to offer a one-time financial support, or for people who want to donate to my legal fund. I mean, it's essentially all the same thing, but. Kamala Harris has been chosen to be the vice presidential running mate for Joe Biden in this 2020 election cycle. Like and I'm sure most of you have already this. heard by now because the internet can't stop laughing. But this choice may be a gift to Donald Trump of a massive 49 state landslide. I think it's fair to say Trump's gonna win re-election. We all know Joe Biden will lose. Like, let's be real, man. I think we're looking at a Trump victory, man. Trump 2020 landslide, and we may see a, a 49 state landslide. We may be looking at a Mondale Reagan type scenario where Trump landslides 49 states. Maybe Brilliant analysis. I, I see no problem with this. <laughs> he's a centrist, by the way. Sorry, he's a liberal, dude. Honestly, out of all the grifters in the post-Trump era, Tim Pool probably repositioned better than most of them. Like, he's still, I think he's still, like, cracking out content that people watch, right? He just moved on to, like, the next culture war grift and shit like that. But what I find really interesting, what I find particularly interesting about Pim Tool is that his style was so successful on Tim YouTube. Stool. What is this? He was paid 600K in August alone. Tim Pool was told beforehand that Trump supporters plan to storm the Capitol. He kept it a secret from his 3.3 million subscribers while pushing election conspiracy theories and whitewashing the far right paid Pool $600,000 in August, 2020 alone. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like he absolutely still uh, fucking caked it up. And his style was so successful that I, I think that the reason why like Jimmy Dore and all these other fucking like Substack Andes shifted over to like the center, which happens to always, uh, you know, focus on the Democrats being shitty and then kind of takes Republicans seriously, like defending J.D. Vance and shit. Like, what are you fucking biggest buffoon on the planet? Like if you're defending a Peter Thiel fellow and saying that he's actually a populist, you are literally, you should be barred from discussing political commentary. Okay? Like JD fucking Vance, Yale graduate, American Enterprise Institute Andy is a populist and not a fucking regular neoliberal. Yes. People, especially in r slash neoliberal, 
and also the Zaid Jelani's of the world were very upset at me for saying that the American Enterprise Institute's very own Peter Thiel fellow hedge fund manager J.D. Vance is not a fucking populist, but actually just a regular uh, neoliberal. Can you imagine, dude? Like, I guess words have no meaning now, okay? There is no reason to ever study political, uh, uh, political science, which I kind of do agree with that, but hey, whatever. But this notion that, you know... J.D. Vance is not a fucking regular neoliberal. Oh, God. So stupid. <laughs> neoliberal is more like a feeling. Yeah, exactly. You always try to backtrack on your arguments and try to shift the goalpost. Nice. Someone's trying to get fucking wrecked, dude. Someone's trying to get fucking wrecked, dude. Okay. Someone wants attention. Oh, let's take a look, little baby. Oh, account created July 4 24th following since 13 minutes ago. Oh, no. Are you just upset? Are you upset that all of your fucking favorite uh, commentators are now fucking, you know, in destitute conditions? Oh, no. I mean, this was like, yeah. I love a conservative think neoliberal doesn't apply to Peter Thiel's venture capitalist blood boy. Dude, there were so many people that were like, there were so many r slash neoliberal Andes that were mad at me. Like, it's totally different than just being a regular libertarian. Fox News? Oh, Tim Pool's on Fox News right now? Wow, look at him. He's killing it, dude. Look at that. Dems care more about masks than murders. Neoliberalism is just gluten, dude. Just everything I, I do like or everything I don't like. Leftists think neoliberalism is everything you don't like. Neoliberals are on r slash neoliberal think it's everything that you do like. Be a 50 state land. That'd be amazing. I just really think it's it's more likely that Trump wins 520 electoral votes. Trump gets 537 or 36 or even 538 every single electoral vote. As I've stated a million and one times, Donald Trump's going to win. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris have been sworn in as president and vice president as expected. Time being, Democrats control a decent amount of power in U.S. government, but things are pretty bad. You know, you'd think escalating gas prices, the cost of goods, and inflation would be bad enough, but now you gotta tack on all the articles telling people to eat cicadas. Eat cicadas. Because there's, in many cities, food shortages, chicken and beef. No, we will not eat the bugs. Now, I personally don't mind eating bugs, just I think eating cicadas out of the ground is probably a bad idea, so I'd recommend against that. I'm going to do something now that a lot of people uh, uh, have criticized me for. I don't care. I really, really don't. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shout out safeandreadymeals.com because at this point... Oh my God, doomsday meal preppers, dude. Oh my God, he's literally plugging Alex Jones' is like... He's plugging the same shit that Alex Jones is plugging. The stuff I'm seeing has me worried. Don't panic. Yeah, totally, dude. Tim Pool definitely thinks the fucking uh, world is ending, dude. And not just selling you uh, dog shit food powered by my Patriot Supply. Just a bucket of food for you fucking hogs, dude. Oh my God, you deserve it. <laughs> Libertarian Hello Fresh. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's so good. That looks tasty. There is 0% chance that this is fucking tasty. Are you kidding me? That's probably so full of fucking preservatives. Are you kidding me? It's literally emergency food for when the world ends. Seriously, I, gotta, I, I, I can't say that enough. Don't panic. You got to remain calm and strategize, and that's what this is for. Don't panic. Massive power outages. Pipes are bursting. But this is legit, and I really mean this. We are dealing with supply chain disruption. The one aspect of this that will likely affect all of you is the food shortages. I am only promoting it now because I genuinely believe you need to understand what's going on. I've gone to the store, some things are missing. Either food becomes more expensive or food doesn't exist. Nope. Simple's like, yo, you gotta buy this because I went to the store the other day and they were out of kumquats. Is that even a food? I just made that up. I thought it was a fruit, right? He just loves, he just loves kumquat. And they were out of it and he was like, oh man, it's over. No panic, it's literally just food. You can order it and it comes. Check it out if you want to. We've already reached the point where citizens in, in some cities are storming the dumpsters to get what spoiled food they might be able to eat from a grocery store. <laughs> this is real. Part of me, the selfish part, wishes I'd never met Donald Trump, wishes that I'd never met Roger Stone. Yeah! You haven't lived 
until 17 armored vehicles show up at your house at 5 o'clock in the morning with 29 SWAT-clad, weapon-bearing FBI agents to arrest me for the first time non-violent fabricated crime of lying to Congress. Uh, I am getting some breaking news right here, and I'll share it with everybody. I was just handed this. NBC News has now confirmed that President Trump has called Roger Stone and told him that he will commute his sentence. Also breaking right now is noon, a massive fire breaking out. This is a warehouse in Oakland Park. Sky 10 over the scene as firefighters try and get it under control. You can see firefighters working to put the fire out right there. The business uh, was a manufacturer of styrofoam, commercial grade styrofoam, which is very flammable. And so something happened in there that obviously caused a fire and it turned into a commercial fire very rapidly. Hey, I've tried to go live and I've never had this happen. They keep cutting me off. Roger Stone is here with me. We're, uh, we're two doors down from his office. There was a drone strike in America two days ago, folks. I'm telling you. Wait, what the fuck? I never heard about this. What the fuck is this? I'm telling you, this is incredible. Why is this not major news? This building is catty corner from my office. Uh, there was an enormous... Are they saying that a fucking fire that had, uh, like a... Are, are they th are they claiming that there was a drone strike? Wait, doesn't that mean that fucking so Donald Trump drone striked Roger Stone in his idea in his mind? It's not like Obama's president. This explosion, which is as yet unexplained, some speculation that it was a drone attack. This vehicle's petty corner. Look at this! Look at this crazy drone strike. I do know that Barack Obama signed an executive order just before leaving that allows the military to use drones on U.S. citizens if they deem that they're domestic terrorists. Wait, that's not a lie. And he didn't do it right before he left office. That's actually real. Why the fuck are they like... I mean, that would never happen to Roger Stone on U.S. soil, but, like, that's a, literally a real thing. People are about shocked to find out. They're going to be shocked to find out that Donald Trump literally put out a hit on some fucking crusty Antifa dude up in... Up in Portland, too, with the marshals, like, and, and bragged about it. These things did happen. And the man that shot another innocent man, this was an innocent man shot, killed, instantly killed. I said, what happened? Well, we haven't arrested him. Two days, three days went by. We sent in the U.S. marshals. Took 15 minutes, it was over. 15 minutes, it was over. We got him. They knew who he was. They didn't want to arrest him. And 15 minutes that ended. Anyway, but and they called themselves. As far as drone striking uh, uh, U.S. citizens goes, it happens. Uh, and yes, Obama was the uh, was the one who originally opened up the floodgates. I, no, I put nothing by them, or perhaps this is meant to intimidate me. This thing looked like Dresden after World War II. I mean, uh, this is 250 feet. That's a weird from the front door of my office. It's right that's a weird fucking thing to person. Wait, what? That's a that's an odd one to compare yourself to. Uh That's why. Like you could have said Syria. What the fuck? Okay, that's right there. Not it not is stonedefensefund.com. Yep. Bro, these guys have so much money. How the fuck does he have a studio like this, dude? You can go there, you can donate <clears throat> To help the man out, the shit that's going on is... I mean, I'm literally indigent at this point. I lost my home. I lost my savings. I lost my insurance. I lost my car. I I'm struggling to pull the resources together to finish writing a book about this entire horrific experience. <clears throat> Plus, I'll have some new products. My stone-cold vodka. My stone-cold cigars. My stone-cold uh, spectacles. My my uh, stone cold men's uh, skincare line, my uh, my uh, my stone cold sauces. Can I put my famous Sunday gravy in a jar? Stones cold. Bring them back. Stones cold neckwear. My five books. One of them a New York Times bestseller. Three of them Amazon bestsellers. Are you familiar with Cameo? Hey, it's the Mooch. I'm super excited to be on Cameo. So tell me what you want me to say to you. I'm looking forward to it. Bro, I literally had a cameo. Come on, Vic Burger. I'm Donald Trump's number one fan. Messed up. What's happening, everyone? It's your boy, Sam Piker. Um, I'm on Cameo. So if you want to uh, buy your friends 
a birthday gift where I tell them happy birthday or just like have a creative thing that's funny that you want me to say. Uh, hit my line. Uh, I got loud. But nothing stupid. Like don't make me endorse like a Nazi or something. Seriously, I'm, I'm not going to do that. But uh, yeah. So I'm on Cameo. Hit me up. Hit my line. Hey, Charles Bice from Excited to be on Cameo. I'm Michael Cohen. You need something fixed? Let's get started. I mean, I literally went on Michael Cohen's podcast. I just wanted to tell you that you are a kick-ass dad and a great role model for your children and your grandchildren. Peter, this is Donald Trump Jr. I'm told that you're turning older than dirt. And I'm not that sorry about that because I'm also told that you're a serious lib. I've also heard about some of your fetishes, and I hope your family rides you like sea biscuit. Have a good one, man. Yes, I am saying to you, Trump will win in a landslide. And Donald Trump Jr. has a cameo? And uh, November 2020, no matter what the other side tries, no matter what plot or plan they've got working out there, they will fail. And may I remind you, that even Satan himself had a plan to take over heaven. He crashed and burned. That's what's going to happen to the left. Trump thanks all those who support him. In heaven, they're rooting for him. Don't know what earth people think about. People say cameo is a sad thing to do. And it's like, dude, they're getting paid 60 bucks to talk for a minute. A part of the reason why I stopped doing it is because I felt bad. It's like ridiculous how much money you fucking make. I mean... Fucking Donald Trump Jr. charges $600, dude. Have a it's no also the easiest birthday gift. It's actually the easiest birthday gift. The amount of people that guys, still reach guys, out to me guys. in my DMs like, yo, can you please do a cameo? Can you please do a cameo? Can you please restart cameo so I can buy a fucking gift for my girlfriend? Can I buy a gift for my fucking boyfriend? Is, is a lot. What are you waiting for? I used to have a cameo. I don't know. I just feel weird about it, dude. It's like I'm charging 60 bucks for fucking... A minute of me being like, hey, welcome, happy birthday. How vapid do you have to be to want a cameo as a gift? I mean, it's funny. I've had plenty of fucking cameos on the stream. They're awesome. They're hilarious. They're like a great gag gift. It's like a original fucking NFT, basically. You know what I mean? Except unlike an NFT, there's just like actual labor and it doesn't fucking appreciate in value. Okay, so charge less? Why? Why would I? When am I going to fuck it? Okay, if I charge less, then like I'm going to get a fucking thousand requests. How am I going to fulfill those requests? I'm going to just like quit streaming and just fucking fulfill cameo requests, dude. Three, three. Floyd Mayweather's a cameo for $12,300. Cameo. Wow. Nuts. Knows that God picked him and what he's already done for this country proves that God picked him. And he's going to win in 2020, in case you wonder. But even the frequency in his voice now has a vibration in it. Shake, right? And then we shake. Really? Some people may begin to feel that when they hear him speak because you know why? He is our president. I think Cody Ko's friend is the CEO of Cameo. I know. He fucking... Cody was a big advocate for Cameo for me. I was... Cody's literally the reason why I did Cameo. It's not cool Cameo because he made it on Twitch. Imagine the Cameo request you get. No, I, I quit Cameo before I made it on Twitch. I quit Cameo before that. Long before that. I did Cameo for like a month. And I was like, I can't do this. I I'm so bad at it. Like, I feel weird. I feel conflicted about it. And so I can tell you, we're getting closer and closer to that time when God himself is going to do something. Right now, I declare... And I call for our president to take his rightful place, Trump, Yo. to come forth. <laughs> Gandalf the pink. Right now, step into your destiny that God gave you, called you, appointed you, and anointed you for this time. This is his choice, and we call you forth right now in the name of Jesus Christ. The prophets of God are with you. The military is with you, so come forth. Step into your destiny now, so be it in Jesus' name. Come forth. From the sitcom Happy Days, Scott Bayo. I want to thank Mr. Trump for asking me to be here tonight and talk about a man that I trust with the lives of my family 
and the health of our country. What has happened to this country? What's happened to Scott Baio? That's the real question. I, I I don't know. I don't know where I where where I am anymore. My head is cut off. As, I don't know. My head here. See, you did not respond like a Anyway, I don't I don't know. Um, but hi, anyways. What do you want me to do about it? Okay, my head's being cut off. Sorry, folks. This is what I'm doing. Um. Joe Biden? Joe Biden? <laughs> you have two of you. Oh, God, help us. Who are we? Who are we? Who are we? We're Americans, god damn it. God damn it. And we and I, I, I mean, I, guys, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry I said GD. I don't believe you. All right, that. fine. I'm, I'm upset. <laughs> I'm sorry I said GD. He blasphemed. Somebody help this man. He has dementia. Does he? I don't care. Yeah, I'm upset. So my wife is sitting here yeah but don't okay so oh, i got don't, don't it curse, renee please. you're stopping my my, my <laughs> here. yeah but you're gonna lose a lot of you christian followers if you talk like that. okay thank you so bro it's great you know it's real too because scott bale is not exactly a great actor so he can't be faking this like you know what i'm saying he's not acting i lost my train of thought Look, I'm as conservative as you can get. So is my wife. I'm, I'm an independent I'm, that's conservative. Okay. Yeah. But we don't want to change. We don't. I, we can't change the state of okay, Utah. Okay. Let's pray that we get this thing done. Let's not give up on the man. I think he, if he, I think if he felt he genuinely lost, he'd say, okay, thank you for letting me serve you, and God bless. I think that's who the guy is. That's what you, that's where you fucked up. You trusted the plan. Let me tell you something. You trusted the plan too much. Turns out there was no plan to trust, dude. The amount of people that got fucked over by Donald Trump, I mean, I'm going to victim blame. Okay, you can't stop me. I'm going to come. I'm going to victim blame. Okay, you deserve it. You fucking deserve it, dude. For how much pain they've caused others. Ruined fucking families and shit. Luckily, a lot of them are just like clown asses that didn't have a lot of clout or didn't have a lot of influence over a massive amount of people to begin with, like Dave Rubin, you know what I mean? Like, if, you're, if you're leaving your family because you watch too many Dave Rubin videos, like you deserve to be exiled. You do. You deserve it. I, I will say it with my fucking chest. He's the worst, like, smear merchant slash... Uh, uh, liar. It's like the more you know what I mean? Like, he, he's, he's not even a good uh, commentator. Like, at, at least, like, with, with Tim, with fucking Tim Pool, like, I kind of understand, you know what I mean? He does, like, the centrist thing. Dave Rubin is just not good. Did you see Dave doing what he was doing now when he was at TYT? No. I mean, I... Dude, I played basketball with a guy every Sunday, dude. It's crazy. It's, it's wild that, like, he is such a fucking clown ass. Like, it really made me reconsider like how much leeway I give to people that I perceive to be ideological allies. Dave Rubin was a important moment for me, but TYT Loki has a horrible track record, dude. So many fucking dipshits came out of TYT. Like, like not even Loki, Heike, me, obviously number one, number one dipshit. Dude, I'm the best thing that came out of TYT. What the fuck are you talking about, bitch? Linwood. I think something's gonna happen. Ladies and gentlemen, my friend, the incredible Lynn Wood! Okay, this is a stretch. Yes. Lynn Wood, everybody! 
I'm a flawed person. I'm in per literally a Democrat. Perfect. What you love about Lynn Wood is not Lynn Wood. You love the message of Lynn Wood because I tell you the truth and you love the truth. God is truth. And it's not even a joke. Lynn Wood's like actually a fucking Democratic voter until Trump. I'm pretty sure. The truth is God. Michelle Malkin and others have led a social media groundswell of support for accused gunman Kyle Rittenhouse. That has now led to a pop-up nonprofit defense fund asking for donations and one of the most prominent conservative attorneys coordinating Rittenhouse's defense, attorney Lynn Wood. Let Newsweek write about that tomorrow. I mean, not only is he a Democrat, he was, as the chatter also correctly pointed out, very helpful in uh, securing two Democratic seats in the Georgia Senate, so in the Georgia Senate race. So shouts out to Linwood and Sidney Powell. You guys are fucking dope. Not that the Democratic Party's doing anything good with it. You know what I mean? Like, but you guys remember when this motherfucker was like doing rallies that were actually widely attended? Talk about how you're not supposed to vote for, you shouldn't vote in the Georgia state uh, runoffs. <laughs> Wild. Let Newsweek say Linwood's making the cue. Here you go, Newsweek. Watch this one. There you go. Q is the truth. This is about the children, for God's sakes. Send this videotape. Send it to Hollywood. Send it to the politicians, the Clintons, the Obamas, the Bidens, the Bushes. Send it to those people because they are involved in child sex trafficking. It's time to tell the truth to America. Send them to jail. Put them in front of a firing squad. They are committing acts against... Did she just like throw up a fucking Roman salute? What happened? Humanity. The penalty for an act against humanity is death. Take them out. Lynn used Kyle for his Twitter following news message. In which they used Kyle to gain money. I asked Lynn. Bro, she did a fucking shit ass job. I'm going to be honest with you. His Twitter following news message. In which they used Kyle Get to gain money. I asked Lynn. Worth money. Worth money. But here's the deal. What's the deal? We hmm. don't need you to investigate. Oh, so good. These, man, I love these ladies, dude. Diamond and Silk. Oh, what happened to Diamond and Silk? Wow. Uh -huh. Interrogate, uh -huh. speculate, uh -huh. fabricate, uh -huh. or instigate. Silk has the cushiest job. When you think about it, like she really doesn't have to do too much. She just goes like, mm-hmm. Which is kind of cool. Like she's just, she has the hype man position and she's getting 50% of the fucking profits, you know? It would be cool. I feel like it'd be cool to just have a hype man everywhere you go. You know what I mean? Tim Dillon's co host. Wait, is that what she's doing now? NLRB ruled Amazon illegally interfered in the union vote in Alabama. They're redoing the election. Giant dick news. Oh, that's fucking sick. Are we all on the Trump train? Now, when I say all aboard, you say choo choo. All aboard! All aboard! All aboard! Wow. I'm silk with diamond and silk. Wow. And I'm usually the quiet one and the silent one, but you know, silent can be violent. <laughs> President, I love you from the bottom of my heart. And yeah, yeah. November the 3rd, 2020, you will be the president of the United States. Also, you all, we still have a patriot out there yeah, yeah, yeah. fighting for what? our freedom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. I'm about ready to unbox Diamond and Silk. Y'all ready for this? Y'all ready? Here we go. All right. What is that? Love yay. Oh man. What are we looking at? What happened? Oh, not cool. Not cool. Not cool. That's not cool. My head is cut off. Where's her head? Because 
unlike previous. What the fuck was that? What was that thing? Previous things I'd done that were game changing. Remember when the fucking was it FCC that uh, warned Alex Jones because in the beginning of COVID, he claimed that uh, his toothpaste could save co like you know could free you from COVID, could save you of COVID. It was the FDA too, yeah. Which is ironic considering that like, you know, he was trying to shill a product that was supposedly a cure for COVID. And yet for some reason, like, you know, the, the fucking many scientists that were able to find the mRNA vaccine and, you know, apply decades of research, apply decades of research into running the top of the hour ad break. Like those guys were not correct. You know what I mean? But Alex Jones, let me tell you something, folks. I'm Alex Jones coming to you live from Austin. Okay. We're in Austin, Texas right now. I'm in a, I'm inside of a famous facility, you son of a bitch. And it's time for a 60 second ad break. Okay. But he used to be in decent shape. Those were just time space continuum reflections of the third big change I was going to be involved in. And that was bringing Donald John Trump into Austin. I'm just going to say that again. I said Austin into office. Sun is streaming. 